go. Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, so in my previous demonstration I showed you how to do solar dyeing and how to prepare the yarn and apply uh, easy fix dyes to that yarn uh, in a receptacle or jar um, like this. Now these have been out in the garden at home for the past two and a half days. It has been gloriously sunny, not very warm but gloriously sunny. So hopefully the dye will have set on the uh, yarn and they will be ready to rinse and uh, we can see what they look like when they're dyed. So let's start with this one first. This was the double knit merino yarn which if I can just wrestle it out of the jar you'll see the dye powders have been distributed fairly randomly actually that's gorgeous across the skein but there's very little control over this process you kind of get to what uh, what comes out of the pot. Now what we need to do is just squeeze it a little bit to see if the dye has set. Now you know the dye has set when the water that comes out of the yarn is clear and I think that's pretty much done. It's got a little bit of a tinge of grey but I think that will go when we rinse it. So I can conclude that one's done. So the next step is to give it a quick rinse. Um, I've got a um, bowl of just cold water here which I'll use just to rinse out the excess dye powders if there are any and any of the acid from the fixer. Um, there we have, give it a gentle squeeze and there we have the skein and it's full glory. So you can see it's mostly white but where the reds and pinks and purples have touched the yarn it's set beautifully. So that's skein number one, rather nice. Um, what I'll do now is put that into another rinse uh, with a bit of eucalam liquid, which is a wool wash, which puts some lanolin back into the, the yarn, but also makes it smell really nice. And then I'll hang it up to drip dry. So that's skein number one. Skein number two was the merino sock yarn. Um, for which I used quite deep coloured dyes. There was a green, there was some yellows and there was some black or charcoal. So let's see what this one looks like. Again, to wrestle it out, it's got a bit tangled from shaking it around. Oh, that's gorgeous. So let's give that a squeeze to see whether the dye is set. Oh dear. No, as you can see, can you see from the bottom of the jar there? There's quite a lot of green dye coming out of that. Now, the reason for that, well, could be a number of reasons. Number one, it could be that I just used too much dye. Um, they're quite strong coloured dyes, so it could well be that uh, I just, just a little bit heavy handed. Um, or it could be that there just wasn't enough heat uh, to set the dyes uh, on the yarn. So what do I do now? I can do one of two things. I can either stick it back in the jar and hope for a sunny day. Sadly, I think we've lost that for the weekend. Or, number two, I can just stick it in the microwave. There should be sufficient uh, fixer in there to work uh, in the microwave. So I'll pop it into some cling film to protect it and then stick it in the microwave, probably on high for about five minutes to make sure it, uh, the dye fixes. And that should fix it. So, skein number two, not quite as a success as skein number one, but I think when it's done, it will be beautiful. Just to show you how it looks like when it's skeined, a bit tatty, you'll get the idea. Again, you can see all the greens are whooshing around there with some lovely, lovely pieces, um, sections of yellow there. So, not quite as successful as skein number one, uh, but it'll be fine once I get, fix it in the microwave. So, thank you for watching. Um, come back tomorrow where I'll do, uh, well, maybe not tomorrow, maybe the day after, where I'll show you what the skeins look like when they're dry. Um, they will dry slightly lighter than the colours they are now. That's just the nature of the process. Um, but hopefully you will like what you see when you come back. Thanks again.